Where were you around 7 o'clock this morning, Paul? Home. Anyone there with you? Uh, my father already left for work. My mother's dead, so no. We know about your brother, Paul. Uh-huh. It's tough to lose someone that close. Last month, you threatened to shoot another student at your school? No, it's just talk. Well, we checked. We know your father has a hunting rifle registered in his name. Yeah, I brought it to school in my backpack. Are you being sarcastic? Because, see, that tells me that you're not taking this seriously. Where's the gun now, Paul? I have no idea. This was an American soldier murdered on American soil. OK. Do you blame the Army for your brother's death? I blame a lot of people. Well, we know you demonstrated to keep the recruiters out of the school. How do you know that? You take my picture? Well, you were observed behaving in a threatening manner towards those recruiters. I thought we had free speech in this country. Isn't that what my brother got killed defending? When was the last time you were out of this country, Paul? What's that got to do with anything? I think maybe we need to familiarize him with some of the other interrogation techniques we have available to us. Like what? Stand up. Just tell us when the last time was that you were out of the country. Last summer. Where did you go? Spain and Morocco. Where did you go in Morocco? Marrakesh. Who did you meet there? Nobody. Who paid for the trip? It was a package tour. I paid for part of it. My grandma paid for part of it. You're lying. I'm not. Stand up. I'm not lying. You're going to keep standing until you tell us the truth. I'm telling you the truth. We're going to get a hold of your father's gun. We're going to know if it was fired today. Do you have any idea what we're going to do to you when we find out that you were lying? I'm not lying. You hated those recruiters, didn't you? Didn't you? They got my brother to enlist. My brother got killed. How do you think I feel? Did you shoot the recruiter, Paul? No, sir. Oh, you're going to stay on your feet a long time, son. Can I talk to you outside for a second, Steve? You don't want me to catch you sitting down while we're gone. What are you doing? He's ready to go. I think you're coming on a little strong. It's first and goal, John. It's not first and goal. You got a scared kid in there. Kid, hell, he's 17 years old. And he's scared. Oh, good. I want him scared. Listen, why don't we get him to relax, and we'll go at him again. Well, I guess since we're on your turf, I got to defer to you. I appreciate that. So what do we do now? Why don't you stick your head in there, tell him to get off his feet, and then we'll get back to him in a little while. All right? That way he starts thinking that we're both his friends. You no, know, that's the last thing I want him thinking. But you got it. Mm -hmm.